Meanwhile, let's bring in Fox News uh, contributor, retired acting ICE director Tom Holman. Uh, Tom, do you blame Trump for the problems at the border? No, I don't. And let me address uh, the statement made by uh, uh, Secretary Mayorkas that there's not a crisis. That, that's very disturbing because when he was a deputy secretary in 2015 and Jay Johnson was the secretary, I met with them numerous times a week to talk about the border crossing, how many are crossing, how many are being detained, how many are being order removed. And the threshold we sent at the time, Brian, was 1,000. 1,000 crossings a day was a bad day. It was a crisis. And now we're dealing with 4,000 a day, four times what he considered a crisis back in uh, 2015. He is not being truthful with American people. There is certainly a crisis on the border that is manufactured and was created by the Biden administration because of their promises that they made and the enticements they made to the people. 4,000 unaccompanied minors are now in our country. Uh, that's a 19% increase year to year. Uh, they have eliminated the war building, stopped the Remain in Mexico policy, where 71,000, uh, I guess, Central and South Americans are sitting there waiting. I guess they're going to end up here. Uh, plus, they pushed their legalizing the Dreamers and bringing back in deported illegals, which is stunning, along with a 100-day uh, pause on deportations that Mexico, excuse me, that Texas finally went to court to poll. Of course there's going to be a crisis. They actually scripted this crisis. And it's not by accident. It's, it's by design. You don't have to be a border expert to realize when you make those type of promises, and on top of that, Brian, we're going to give you free health care, when you make those type of promises, they're going to come. And they knew when they said these things, it was going to cause a border crisis. They have folded to the progressive left. And, and, and it's just incredible. What, uh, he made a statement yesterday that President Trump gutted the system. Are you serious? He, as a secretary of Homeland Security, he has more immigration judges. He has more agents. He has more border technology. He had agreements that no other president was able to get. If anybody's gutted the system, is they gutted the system in the last four weeks, and we see what happened. We went from historic lows to a crisis unprecedented. That is what they have done. It's not a lack of compassion. The message we send here forces these triangle countries to send people in on the hope that they're getting in, on the promise that they'll get through, instead of going through the system that allows perhaps more refugees in in a revamped immigration reform. But I want to bring you to two more topics before I have to let you go. The DHS Secretary Mayorka said yesterday that loving parents send their kids alone thousands of miles through Central America, through Mexico, and we're not going to be expelling them. We're, going to, we're not going to apprehend a nine-year-old who came here alone, who traversed Mexico, whose parents, loving parents, sent them here alone. Well, if the, we don't send them back, tens of thousands will come after them. We cannot digest a, a, entire countries, can we? No, we can't. And look, it's inhumane to put your children in the arms of criminal cartels. You and I have talked about one of the times I testified, I lost my temper with a congressman that said I didn't care about dying children. I've held many dying children. I was in the back of the tractor trailer with five year old little boys suffocated to death in his father's arms. Don't tell me this is compassion. Putting your children in the hands of criminal cartels is inhumane, it's dangerous, and it's just bad. So I've seen it. And I, and I just, I can't believe that statement was even made. It was. Uh, Kristen Fisher asked this question yesterday at the White House briefing. Uh, the president of Mexico is going to propose an idea to bring an immigrant labor uh, force of 600 to 800,000 immigrants a year to work legally in the United States. Is that something we should consider? The answer from uh, Jen Psaki, I've, been, I've seen those reports. I believe that's a, a step that will require Congress. Should Congress green like this? Absolutely not. Congress needs to secure our border and enforce the laws that they wrote and they enacted that was signed by president. And look, last year, Mexico received $40 billion in remittances from people here working in the United States illegally, sent money back to Mexico. $40 billion in a year of pandemic. So, of course, the Mexican president wants to send more people here because he don't have to take care of them. He don't have to provide social services. He doesn't have to train them. Send them to the United States and send us back even more than $40 billion. This is a win-win for Mexico. Bad for the United States, bad for the American worker. Tom, what do they say? These are, these are jobs that Americans don't want to work. What do you say? That's just untrue. I, that's untrue. I've done many investigations in worksite operations where we hit, uh, we've hit uh, uh, work sites where these jobs are good-paying jobs. Now, some are low-paying jobs. Don't get me wrong. But th there's a lot of jobs that middle-class Americans would love to have right now during this time of unemployment. Right. Plus, uh, I mean, when we're getting in trouble getting off an airplane, we had to report in quarantine. We're letting thousands of people in who aren't socially distanced, who don't travel with rapid tests. It's, it's just not logical. It's not, it, it's no compassion involved in this. Tom Holman, thanks so much.